<laughs> Hello, today we're going to talk a little bit about trifolds. I think they're an excellent marketing tool because you can get a lot of information on a small area and it's easy to take along, it's easy for somebody to fold and to present. Besides having a, a nice business card and maybe a bookmark, the trifold. Now you have an outside flap, inside flap, then three panels inside, which makes also three panels in the back. So that can be very confusing to design. Make sure everything is positioned at the right place and at the right height. So when you fold it, it adds up nicely. In this case, we also have an address area if you want to ship it. If not, just use this area as well to put in more information for your business. Okay, now we put a sample trifold file online. You can download it here or here where the link is going to be. And you can follow along. You can use this file as a starter file. You can use it as it is. Or you can change your text, add photos, do whatever, be creative, make something really beautiful. And since it already has all the panels at the right place, you don't have to worry about it. Because sometimes we get people that send in files and they open it and it's at the wrong spot and they can use the paper in the end as paperweights or to start a fire because you can throw them away, you can't use them. So make sure you you uh, use the right file, you start properly, and there's not going to be a problem. Now, the file we're going to talk about is this one here. So what we did is we printed out on a regular printer, and that's why you have here a white border. On our commercial printers, we're going to cut the paper off. In other words, you have to bleed, which means it goes beyond, and we cut it off right at the edge. Now, this here is front flap, inside flap, inside content and on the back we have the shipping label where you can put your information if you wish make sure it's the right size logo is properly positioned address and so forth and um, and that's it but now let me show you when you put this together when we printed it and put it together i mean we basically glued the two papers eight and a half by 11 together that's by the way also the size of the file that we uploaded eight and a half by 11 use that one and then print it out and look what we noticed services is too low so we need to raise this a little bit we would not see that before you, you might have put it too high or too low but this is something that you should first make a mock-up and check that everything is correct also it gives you a chance to proofread because i guarantee you you're going to make a mistake here or there and that's a good way to to ensure everything works as intended Okay, so now you have hopefully the file downloaded. Like I said, use it as you want. Print a million. The only thing you can't do is use it and sell it. But that's okay. So let's get right into it. So here we have those three files on the little license uh, information file. Um, we open, you open one of the trifles inside or outside. I have it already done. And we have here the inside. And if you're not sure, let's say you start to position your text differently. You move the text around. Of course, you're gonna put different text than this one here. And you wanna make sure that it's uh, aligned properly. Go to the top layer and here, it's disabled right now. It might even be locked, so unlock it. And I have the opacity set Oh, you see this one is locked. I unlock it, the opacity is set at 82. Move that a bit back in front, forward. And not only do you get the information of what these panels are called, but you can tell if they line up properly. When you're done, make sure you don't leave this layer enabled, disable it or delete it, and it's ready to print. Okay, now the outside, let me show you that's this side here of the brochure. Notice how this area goes beyond and it's cut off. The outside line here, the blue line, that is the cutting area. The inside is the safe area. So design everything inside the inner turquoise line. And you're gonna be okay. 
So now that we look at this, let me show you how the, it unfolds. So this is the front, the middle, the back, and the inside flap. But you don't really have to worry because the file is already prepared. All you need to do is place it properly, watch this video again, and you see where everything goes. So now we also included an Adobe Illustrator file. You might have that program too. And in here we have another logo that you can use. Use any of these elements as you wish. I copy it, go over to Photoshop. Let's place it in here. I place it as a smart object. If it's an Illustrator file, it's called a, a vector file. It is a good idea to import it as a smart object because you can resize it and it will always look good. See that? Nice and clean edges. It would be a bitmap and you resize and shrink it down again, you're gonna get that jaggedy look and it's gonna look really bad once you go to final press. So you see in the background here, I placed um, part of the logo. Oh, let, me, let me see it right here, you see that? So let's make that one for, for disappear. And I'll take this one here, make it a little bit bigger. And um, what you can do once you're at that layer, the logo layer, Enable layer mask, this white box appears, and then go to gradient tool, pop in some color, and you see how it nicely fades in and out. As you notice, right now it's on top of the text. That's because the element is on top of the text within your layer. So just move it below, and you see that? Now you have it nicely behind the text. Any of the other elements, move them around, delete them, add them, do whatever, it's all yours. And another thing is like this text, for example, here. Okay, now you see how it flows around along this edge? Go to the text tool, uh, the path, and select the selection tool here, direction. And move it around and you see how the text nicely adjusts. Of course, I do it wrong here. It's, it should be more parallel like this. But that's a nice way. You can add a bit of text here. Again, it's up to you. If you don't like it, just delete it. Okay, so we have um, the Illustrator file. There's another element in here. I copy, I paste it as a smart object. And now I can size it however I want, because you might not like the color scheme. It doesn't matter. What, whatever you want to use, use. The other thing, just delete. Essentially, what you get is a template that you can use, and you know everything is at the right place. You can watch this video again. You watch how this unfolds. You can also make it vertically if you wish. I personally like for this here horizontally. You might want to replace this area here for the address area. And, and yeah, that's how you get the proper layout and you avoid any mistakes. And like I said, go ahead and make a mock-up. It's always a good idea because it happens to me personally. I always make a mistake. I don't know, I, I, it's, it's just almost impossible to just design and have no error. There might be a little bit the margins too wide. I don't know. Maybe you want to move this a bit more over. Maybe adjust that to your liking. Otherwise, you're going to start a bonfire with a ton of brochures you can't use. And if you print like 500, you're going to get a big box of these brochures. Okay, so I think that's everything you need to know. I used Photoshop and Illustrator. Maybe one thing that I should tell you is when it's finished, how do you actually submit the file to us? Okay, that's, that's a very important point. Let me take um, this page right here, for example. You go to File, Save As. Wait before I do that. Make sure you are in CMYK mode. And you can look at if you're in that mode by going to Mode, CMYK. Why is that important? Certain colors look incredible on the screen, like a fresh, strong green. But once you 
convert it to CMYK, it dulls down a little bit. And once you print, it's a little bit duller too. So certain colors simply are not possible to print. Okay, so make sure you're in CMYK mode. Go up to File, Save As. Then you select JPEG. Make sure you don't select any of these below, but this JPEG here. And make sure ICC Profile is checked. Then you click Save. And you make sure you are at 100% the best, the absolute best quality. It doesn't matter if it creates a big file because you want to have a very clean look. And you're going to get that by putting a very high, com or very, actually very low compression rate. So the pixels are not pixelated or the, the areas are not pixelated. Okay, so leave everything as it is. Click OK. And that file, I think I did save it right in here. Right now it already has the proper name, outside, front. And that's, that in itself can be confusing too again, outside uh, and the front. But now you know what the outside front is. It's basically where the flap is that faces you with the logo. And then do the same thing for the other file. And that's going to be the, the back or inside. Excuse me, outside and front. I got confused all the time myself. Thank you for watching this movie. I hope it helped you a little bit. And go out and design a great brochure. Thank you. Take care.